Hey guys, what's up? This is John Hubicki, and so I'm working with the Asus Zenith Extreme motherboard. This is the second motherboard I've had, and I've tried probably four or five or six different packs of RAM. I've tried an eight pack of, uh, whatchamacallit, eight pack of Corsair matched RAM, 2666, 2400. Uh, the 2666 did not work, the 2400 did not work. All kinds of stuff like that. So, um, I've tried Corsair Dominator. I've tried all kinds. Anytime I add, I'm going to try to turn this around and show it. in this slot here and the two end slots, you're supposed to go to the first two, then the end two. Anytime I add anything into those end slots, it does not work. So, if I boot up now, I'll get the three memory beep codes. This is the second Zenith Extreme motherboard I've had. Turn it on. Get the three beep codes. Shuts off. Tries to go again. Okay. So let's turn it off. Now I've tested all these sticks around. They're all good. So what I'm going to do right now is, as quickly as I can, I'm just going to put down the phone. So I don't have to edit this video later. I'm going to remove the other sticks. Uh, let's see, these are the four. So now I only have four in there. And these are two, two boxes of four. These are the RGB Corsair. Maybe it's Corsair memory, I don't know. Um, let's get it out. Hold on. Two sticks out there. Two sticks out there. So now we'll still get the three beat codes, but I just want to show you as we slowly remove these. Alright, so now we've got these removed. Let me grab my lights here real quick. You can be a little easier to see. All right, so now we've got it in. Um, according to the instructions, it's in uh, B1, A1, C1, and D1. B1, A1, C1, and D1. So the two second in and the two on the end. So we're going to turn. Let's make sure these are seated. Good, and they are. Okay, turn it on, and I would imagine we're still going to get the two beep codes, the three beep codes. Okay, we got a single beep code that time, which is interesting. Okay, one single beep code. So instead of three beep codes, I'm getting only one. So let me remove. Let me remove these two on the end. That one and that one. This one on the end is very tight, but that's okay. Let me pull that out. Now with these out, if I turn it on. Usually, always works with two in these two slots. Turn it back on. Power it up. <clears throat> memory goes past. No problem. Past memory. We get past the CPU. And then we'll see VGA soon. We'll get these other things over here. So now we're booting up. So the big question is, is why is this continuing to happen? I've tried literally eight different pairs of, eight different packages of RAM, matched RAM, all kinds of different matched RAM, all kinds of stuff from Corsair. I had the Dominator. This is the Corsair RGB. 
Is it the memory? Is it the slots on the end? What is, why is this happening? This is the second motherboard I've had. Um, this is, I thought it was the motherboard, returned the motherboard, came back. My next step is to take the whole Asus motherboard back and go with MSI or go with somebody else because I can't take it anymore. I mean, I've got to just get something up and running. This is supposed to be the best board in the market at 550 bucks, but uh, with this kind of, with this strange memory issue, I have no idea what's going on. So, and you can't live with 16 gigabytes of RAM in a system this big. So this is John Hubicki. Feel free. I'm going to put this on YouTube. So you guys can check it out, comment, maybe give me some ideas. Maybe Asus will take a look at it and give me a call. I put in multiple calls to them. Haven't got any Asus genius tech support guys on the phone. Why this could be happening. I mean, I'd love to know why it's happening. I'd love Asus, but um, you know, the next step, like I said, is to go with MSI or something like that. Just another board or AS rocks or gigabyte or anything, anything that works. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you got any plans, help me out. Quiet, cat.